Guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks as always for joining me. Today, uh, I wanted to talk about RCD selection. Uh, you'll notice that I've got four different types of RCD in front of me here. I've got our compact bi-directional RCD, I've got our uh, single pole traditional RCD, an AFDD RCD, and a traditional double pole RCD. Now notice how I didn't call them by their proper names. And there's a reason for that. Uh, a lot of people forget or not necessarily forget, some people aren't quite aware that even though that is an RCBO, that is an RCBO, that is an AFDD, which has an integral RCBO, and this is an RCD, they are all categorized as RCDs. And that's because they all have an RCD protection device element within them, which means it obviously protects against earth leakage. A big, big plus, okay? These ones here, for example, are rated at 30 milliamp. This one by here is actually rated at 100 milliamp. But why do I want to talk about RCD selection? Well, there's one missing from this group here, for example, that's becoming really, really popular. That, for those of you who didn't quite guess, is the Type B RCD. So recently, with an awful lot of drive to PV, EV, uh, and especially with air source heat pumps, and now some electric boilers as well, manufacturer's guidelines, as we know, supersede any regulation of BS7671. In fact, it's actually in the regulations of BS7671 to check manufacturer's guidelines and that they do actually supersede anything else that's in the brand book. Now, a lot of these brands with air source heat pumps, EV chargers actually, some of them as well, and now Bo I know Bosch boilers are one, and there's another one as well, are actually stipulating that they're products should be put on a type B RCD. So look, let's have a quick recap of RCD selection, okay, and what RCD types we have to choose from. These are all type A. The predecessor to that, which was most commonly used, really found in this form here, the standard single pole RCBO, and this form here, your standard RCD, was a type AC. Okay, now you can check that by the waveform. If you don't know what the waveform signature looks like or imp sort of symbol looks like for type AC, it looks like this. Okay, that's still cheesy, isn't it? Everyone loves it, but that, that still, still works. It looks like this. There you go, right. Now, that actually became almost an obsolete RCD selection for any of us now fitting on any new home or any anything really because the only time you can use an AC device, an AC RCD device, is if you can guarantee that there is zero DC leakage going to happen on that circuit. And in modern homes, that is almost impossible, okay? So what's the answer? Well, the answer, as we all know by now, was to move to type A, which is what this is a suite of. Okay, now type A RCDs can handle up to 6 milliamp of pulsating DC current. Now, there's a huge difference between pulsating DC and smooth DC, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Now, why is that important? Well, pulsating DC or any form of DC will blind a type AC RCD, which means that earth leakage protection that we've built into the system now isn't there because the thing can't see it and it's like sticking chewing gum in the mechanism essentially it just ties it up it can't see it it can't see the leak it just doesn't trip that's dangerous obviously a type a can now the symbol for a type a rcd is this one <laughs> this one right so and you'll find that on the front of all these devices so if you go to a board now the first thing you need to be looking at especially if it's a split load board or an rcd board is is that rcd a type a if not you need to swap it out okay now that's really really important but what other rcd types are there well there's a type f you won't see that here or in an avatas offer you will see it from companies like schneider who do offer a type f which is high frequency stuff and it's quite specific and you can kind of skip past it in most applications if you go straight to type B. Now, a type B RCD will actually handle six milliamp of smooth DC. So that takes it from an occasional DC leak from, there's multiple reasons why that would happen on your circuits, by the way, but that's another video timeline for a few weeks down the line. A type B can handle smooth, so a consistent level of DC up to six milliamp on the circuit really, really, really common on heat pumps and boilers because they're constantly dumping DC current onto the circuit. Now, I will get onto that topic again, like I say in a later video. So on these situations where you have smoothing of DC, you need a type B RCD. Now, here's a picture of one of ours. 
Okay, now as you notice, it's a three module device currently. We are in works of doing a type B RCBO, okay, which will look very similar to this bad boy here, but you'll notice it has a type B symbol. Bored of this yet? <laughs> it will have a type B symbol on the device. So it's very easy to see what's what. Now, if you need a little bit more help with this sort of RCD selection, when to use what and why you would need it, I've actually created a recent RCD selection download, okay? That's free from our website. Now, you can just go on there. If you, it's navitascp.co.uk forward slash downloads, or I'll put the link in the description below anyway. Click that, download that. It will give you a full overview of RCDs. Now, remember, guys, RCDs come in lots of different forms. Okay, it's not simply one of these, which we've accustomed to seeing, which does also mean, by the way, there was an awful huge drive, if you guys remember, with the landlord legislation to swapping over people's consumer units. Before RCBOs became mandatory, there's certain brands that was pumping them out really cheap, and it became the installation of choice, which makes a lot of sense, because obviously RCBO boards are far superior to a split load board solution. However, most of those RCBOs were type AC. Now remember, it doesn't matter whether it's on an individual circuit or covering a banker circuits like your old split load boards do, a type AC device just can't see any DC, right? It just it just clogs it up, it blinds it. So even if you go to a board and it looks like, oh, it's, look, it's, a, it's an RCBO installation. Oh, it's only four years old. Okay, great. Well, it might completely be absolutely useless. They only rendered a AC devices essentially derelict a couple of years ago in 2022 when Amendment 18, uh, when Amendment 18, when uh, the 18th edition of BS7671 come out, okay? So guys, focus in on not just, okay, oh yeah, it's an RCBO board, that'll be fine. Have a look at the RCD selection. I know it's going to be a pain in the ass and a headache for some of your clients, especially some of those landlord clients that only recently, as, as you know, as early as two, three years ago maybe, had a board change. But unfortunately, the regs are the regs and they are there for a reason. And this one actually makes sense. Okay, guys, any questions on RCD selections, types, or anything else like that, or what our range here is at Navitas or how we can help you, either head to the website, contact us directly. Instagram is always easy as well. Remember, it's at Navitas CP, which is the same for TikTok and YouTube, obviously, as well. You can always get me on there at William.Winter1. Uh, Jay's on there as well, and so are most of our staff, to be truthfully honest. But if you want to get in touch with us, email, phone, whatever, we're always here any day or night. Now, I didn't mention this right at the beginning because this is for those, those small few that actually watch the whole video all the way through. Guys, we are almost at 7,000 um, followers on Instagram, okay? And we are almost at... 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you find any of my videos useful or you enjoy our Talk Up podcast, by the way, nice little plug, go over there, subscribe, please. Um, like and subscribe to the video, this would be great. Once we get this channel to 2,000 and our IG up to 7,000, we are gonna be giving away 50, that's right, five zero consume units of our 12MX, which is a 10 usable way board, okay, with type two surge protection. No catch, no strings, 50. That's almost one a week for a year, okay? So that's how many consume units we're gonna be giving away once we hit 7,000 on IG and 2,000 on here. Guys, you have to obviously be following both to, to qualify, but once we hit those figures, guys, we're doing a big launch. So help us get there. Like, subscribe, head over to IG, follow us there, and help us give away 50 consumers. You could be a winner. All right? Now, tell all your friends, but I thought I'd keep that back here just for you guys who stayed to the end to watch. Guys, as always, thank you very much for joining me here, and I'll see you on the next one.